Hey guys, so in this lesson we're going to learn how to convert a common fraction, which is something like uh, 3 over 5, that's a common fraction, to a decimal fraction, which is something that has a decimal in it. All that you do, it's so easy, and we're going to run through a whole bunch of examples in this lesson, but all I want you to do is take the number at the bottom, and you need to change that number to either a 10 or a 100 or a 1,000 or even 10,000, any number with zeros. So if we have 3 over 5, I know that the easiest would be to change it to a 10. So I just multiply by 2. But what I do at the bottom, I have to do at the top. That will then give us 6 over 10. Now, you take the number 6 and you look at how many zeros you have. How many zeros do you have? You have one. So you take the decimal from the back of here and you move it one. And so you put your decimal there. And so there's your answer. But remember, if there's nothing in the front here, then just add a zero, okay? Let me show you another one quickly and then we'll go do our examples. So let's say, for example, I have um, three over 20. So I know that I can change this number to a 100. I can just multiply it by 5, but what I do at the bottom, I also have to do at the top. And so now I have 15 over 100. Take the number 15 now, and the decimals at the back, then look at how many zeros you have. You have 2, so move it 2 places back, 1, 2. Put your decimal, and then just fill in a 0 over there, and there's your answer. Now, in these examples that we're going to do, we're going to get some really interesting types where we have mixed numbers. We're also going to get an interesting one where we've got a number 8 at the bottom. A lot of learners struggle with that. So, yeah, stick around. We've got some cool ones coming up. So, here's our first one. So, remember, we want to get the number at the bottom to either be a 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, any number with a 1 and zeros. So, the easiest here would be to multiply by 5, and what you do at the bottom, you must do at the top. And so that's going to give us 5 over 10. Now, you take the number 5, you put the decimal, which is already at the back, and then you move it however many zeros you have. So that's 1, so you move it one place, and you put your new decimal there. So there's your answer, but then remember to just put a 0 in the front of that. 0, 5. Here's another one, 2 over 5. So we multiply the bottom by 2 and the top by the same, so you get 4 out of 10. Take the number 4, the decimal's at the back already, or that's where it always is, and then you move it by however many zeros you have. So there's only one, so you move it one place. And so you end up with that over there, and then just put a 0. So here's the next one. So remember, the goal is to change the number to either a 10, a hundred or a thousand or ten thousand if you have to you can even go more it's the point is you want to make this number into a number that has a one and a whole bunch of zeros so i'm going to multiply this by two and what i do at the bottom i must do at the top so that'll give me six over 100. i then take the number six the decimals currently at the back and i move it by however many zeros I have. So I have two zeros, so I move it two places, and I put my new decimal, and so I then have to go fill in any open spaces with a zero, like that. And then if there's anything open in the front here, I always have to put a zero there. So my answer will be 0 0.06. Ooh, so here's one with a mixed number. Now, there's an easy way to do this, and a difficult way. I'll show you both. Um, the easy way is don't convert to a improper fraction. And then the difficult way, or the longer way, is convert to an improper. I'm going to show you both, but then from this one onwards, I'm going to only use method one. Convert to a improper, just in case your teachers are showing you this longer method, so you can just understand what they're doing. So... We completely, um, or we don't change it to an improper fraction. We just ignore that part for now, and we just do this part over here. So we can just say um, 3 over 20. Now, 
we can change this into a 100 by multiplying by 5. So you multiply bottom by 5, multiply top by 5, and that'll end up giving us 15 over 100. Now we take the number 15 and the decimals currently over there and we move back however many zeros we have. So that's two zeros, so we go back one, two, put your decimal, and then that's what you now have. And then remember, you don't wanna leave this empty, so you just put a zero. So now we have the number one, which is from over here, and then all I want you to do is just add 0 0.15 to that, and you're just gonna end up with one comma one five. Let me just write that a bit better. There's your answer, okay? So you're literally just gonna take this number, put a, co uh, yeah, take that number, and then put a comma, and then just put whatever you have here, like that. Now, if you wanna see the other method where you first convert it to an improper fraction, let me show you that now. So you first take this number and you convert it to an improper fraction, which we've learned how to do. So you take one multiplied by 20, which is 20, plus three is 23, and then you write it over 20. Okay, so let's just do this. Okay, then we're gonna change this number to a 100, so we multiply by five. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so at the bottom, we end up with 100. At the top, we end up with 115. Then you take the number 115, and you, um, you, you your decimal's currently over there, and then you go back however many zeros you have. So one, two, and so you end up with one comma, one five. So it wasn't actually that long. Maybe I was exaggerating a bit. Um, so you can actually, um, maybe for the rest of this lesson, I'll actually show both methods each time. I'm, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out as we go. But yeah, we get the same answer. You must do whatever you're comfortable with. So the one method is just leave this. And then the other method is convert it first. So here's another one. I think let's do both methods. Okay. So this is where we um, don't convert to improper, and then for method two, we do convert to improper. All right, and so for this one, we don't convert it, so um, we just take the number two over five. Now, I can easily get that to a 10 by just multiplying by two. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. That'll give us four over 10. We then take the number four, and we move the decimal back however many zeros we can see. So we move it back once. And so you end up with like that, but then always remember to put a zero. And so now we're just gonna put um, one comma four as your answer, okay? So you pretty much just take this number and just replace it over there, and then you get your answer. If you wanna convert to an improper first, you multiply those two, so remember, um, you're gonna multiply those two and then plus two, so that'll give you seven. Now we can just multiply by two, what you do to the bottom, you do to the top, and that'll give you 14 over 10. And so you take the number 14 and you move the decimal place back, however many zeros you have. So you move it back once and that'll give you one comma four. It's actually quite a nice method. Both methods are actually pretty good. And here's our last, we've got one more after this, but this is our last mixed number. In fact, I lie. This is a mixed number one, then we've got this one, and then we've got the one with eight, okay? So once again, I'll show both methods. So here we will um, not, or let's rather, what did I say in the previous one? Don't, <laughs> don't, don't convert to improper, and then in the second one method, we um, will convert to a improper. So we're gonna take the number three over four. Now that can be changed to 100 by multiplying by 25 at the bottom and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top and that'll give us 75 over 100. You then take the number 75 and you move the decimal back however many zeros you have. So one, two. And so that'll give us something that looks like that, but then you put the zero like that, so you have 0, 0,75. Then you just take this number and replace the zero. So you then have 3,75. Now, if you wanna convert to an improper first, then you multiply these two numbers, which is 12, 
plus 3 is 15. Now, once again, you're going to multiply by 25. What you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so at the bottom, you get 100. Now, here it gets a little bit tricky, right? Because it's bigger numbers. So what is 25 multiplied by 15 if you can't use a calculator? Well, 5 times 5 is 25. Then 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Take your 0 down. Then 5 times 1 is 5, and 2 times 1 is 2. And then if you had to go add all of that, um, you'd end up with, sorry, I'm running out of space here, you'd end up with um, 3, 7, 5 is your answer. So 3, 7, 5. And then all that you do is, because you've got two zeros, you're going to move two decimal places from the back. So 1, 2. And so you end up with a decimal there. 3,75, same answer. I think it's with these ones where the numbers can get a bit bigger, where this method number 2 becomes a bit slower. Now here we have the number 500. So this I would actually multiply by 2 so, I, so that I can end up getting 1,000. Because as long as I can get a number that has a 1 at the bottom and a whole bunch of zeros, then it's fine. It doesn't matter how many zeros. All right, so then I take the number 42 and I move back from the back here, I move three decimals because I have three zeros. So the number of decimals you move back is always equal to the number of zeros that you have. So one, two, three, put your decimal and then fill in any empty places with a zero like that and then always put a zero in the front of that decimal. There we go. Okay, now here's our last one. Now with the number eight, I need you to think about a thousand. The number eight can go to a thousand. How? If you multiply the number eight with 125, you just got to remember that one, okay? Eight multiplied by 125 gives you a thousand. So what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so that's going to give us a um, thousand. And then now with five multiplied by 125, I would do it like this. Okay, so five times five is 25. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 1 is 6. So 625. Now, you see how we've got the number 625. There's three zeros at the bottom, so we move back three places. 1, 2, 3. Put your decimal, and then always fill in this front little piece here. And so we end up with 0, 0,625.